Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see how to run our Postman collection in the Jenkins. Okay, so in our previous video, we have seen the new man. So how to run the new man through the mid or Postman collection through the command line. So which will help the tool called new man, which is again developed from the Postman team. You can run your Postman collections via terminal, okay, which is command line using the Newman library, okay. So, and we have seen couple of reports also. So, now we want to run the Postman collections, uh, the, the test that we have written. It has to run in the Jenkins server also, or any CI CD server is fine, okay. So, I have already created for the Azure DevOps. Maybe you can check on my playlist. So, today we are going to see how to run our Postman collection in the Jenkins, okay. So, this is a collection that we created. Okay, new man collection and, and I have some environment variables also here. So basically uh, this URL is coming from as a part of environment variables. Okay. So I have a three requests inside this collection. So now I want to execute them. Okay. So first of all, we have to export this collections. Okay. I'm going to export them. It will be stored as a JSON file. So I'm going to store it on my laptop. Okay. So this is a file location. I'm going to store. You can see this is a name newman underscore collection is a file name it will be stored with the dot of extension song postman underscore collection okay so now i want to export the environment variable also because i have a dependency on here this variable is coming from the environment so let's go to the environment so this is the variables so just click on this the right side you can click here and you can do the export okay so this environment variable files again it is json it will be stored as a the file name of environment variable, which is newman env dot postman underscore environment. Your collection file will be stored as a format of postman underscore collection. So the environment file will be underscore environment. Okay. So I'm just saving this. Okay. So now we have successfully exported our collection. So now let's go to the Jenkins. Okay. So I have already installed Jenkins. Jenkins installation is very easy. You can download the MSI or you can download the war file. You can do the installations. Okay, so after installing the Jenkins, uh, you can go and create your job. Okay, so before that, you want to do a couple of settings because we are going to use the Node and the Newman. Correct. So Newman is to running our library. I mean, to run our Postman collection in the terminal. So to to install Newman, so you must have Node.js. Correct. So that's the reason we have installed Node.js first. Then we have installed the Newman library. So after that, we are able to successfully run. So if you don't do this, then again, there is an alternative way where when you run the new man command, then you have to point where, uh, where the Node.js installed, okay? So to make it very simple, so you can go to the global tool configurations in the Jenkins, okay? So scroll down all the way down. Uh, you can see here something called Node.js, okay? Just click on this button. So it will be like this initial stage, okay? So now you can provide this Node.js. I mean, this is a, just a name. And you can provide the installation directory where the node.js installed. Otherwise, you can go for an alternative option, which is install automatically. Okay. So here you want to select uh, which versions of node you want to install. Okay. So I'm just going to install this 18.12.0 or 12.1. Anything is fine. Okay. After that, so this installation will happen. So after that, I have to install Newman. Okay. Because I'm going to use the Newman library. So I'm going to install the Newman. So normally we do like this. Right. So, for example, uh, npm install hyphen g newman. Right. So, that is the same library we are going to install here. So, here you don't want to provide install g. You can ignore them. Okay. So, you can directly install the library name like this newman. Okay. So, after this, save this one. Okay. So, once this is saved, then we can go to the dashboard to create a new job. So, click on the create job. So, here we are going to select as a freestyle project. So, I'm going to give it a name as uh, new man collections. Okay. So just click on the freestyle project and click on OK. So now the job is created. Okay. So after that, we have to send our commands, which is a new man command. You have to run it on the window batch commands. Okay. So this is a general description. If you want to add anything, you can add them. So we are going to run with our source code management as a none. Okay, so we are going to run from our local laptop. So we are not selecting a gate one. So let's go down and you can you will find this build environment. Okay, so build environment is nothing. 
where my particular job or where my particular test is going to run. Okay, I have to create the environment for that. So what is the environment here? So we need a Node.js to be installed, right? So after that global configuration setting is done, once installation is done now, now you can see here, provide NPM and node and NPM bin folder to path. Okay, so here you have to select that name that you have given in the global node configuration. Okay, so that's it. So why we are selecting this? We need this environment to build our job. Okay, so after this, you can you can come to this build step. So here you can select as a Windows batch command for the Windows widget. Okay, so select this. So now we can start typing our command, which is new man run. So let's go to the folder location. So this is my folder. Okay, and this is my collection. Okay, so I'm going to copy this particular collection name collection location so i'm just copying the collection location okay and i want to send along with the environment variable so i'm just putting as a hyphen e and i'm going to copy the this environment file json also so make sure you are copying along with the json extension people mistakenly will not copy the json extension so it will not run okay so after this you can simply click on save okay so now we have created a job. So here you can see the button called build now. Okay, so the moment when you click on the build now. Yeah, the build number one is started. So let's go inside. So what is happening? So let's go to the console output here. Okay, we have started by admin because we are running as manually. I have logged as admin account with the Jenkins. So now here you can see it is started installing the new man. Okay. So after installation of Neiman, our test will execute. So let's wait for a couple of time. Okay, still the installation is going on. Okay, so after this installation, you can see the package is installed. Okay, so now it is ex executing our Postman collection. You can see Neiman run, this is what we have given. So let's wait, wait for this uh, collection to be executed. Okay, so here you can see finished success and you can see some characters are coming here, right? So this is nothing, but uh, so when we run our new man, right? So let me uh, copy this command and let's open the CMD terminal. Okay, so now if I use this command to execute the postman here, I mean postman collection. Okay, the new man is not ready. Okay. Okay, I think I have not installed the new man in my local system. So this is nothing. Our table kind of a report will come, right? So you can see iteration, request, test script, pre-request script, right? The table format is not supported here in the Jenkins. So if you see something like a junk character, so this is nothing like a table. Okay, so let me install the new man in my local and I will say, I mean, I will show you. So let me install the new man. Okay, now the new man is installed. I'm just clicking the app arrow to bring the previous history. 
So uh, now let me check the new minus install. Yeah, the new minus install now. So when I run this command, so here you can see some table kind of format report is coming, right? So executed, failed, iteration. The same report is coming here also. So here you can see executed, failed, iteration, everything. But it, that is not being supported in the Jenkins. Okay. So if you want to get the same kind of like a table format report here also, so we have to do some modification in the command. So let me go back to the, the job and you can go to the configure button to make the changes in the Jenkins. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the build steps. So here I'm going to pass additional some commands like a hyphen hyphen disable hyphen unique code. Okay. So why this command is like a, this command like a specify whether or not to force Unicode disable option when supplied all the symbols of output will be replaced with the plain text format. Okay, so when we run though, we, we, are, we are getting some special characters like a symbols, right? So that will be ignored. Okay, so now I'm clicking on the save. Now I'm going to run it again, build now. Okay, so now let's go into the job two. So this time you can see it was very fast, right? So the initial time it was installing the new man. That's the reason it get, I mean, it took some time. So now you can see it got executed successfully and you can see the report, same report how we see in the terminal. Okay. So this is how you have to run your postman collection in the gen case. Okay. So the, the main thing is that you have to remember. So you have to install the node changes. So just go to the manage Jenkins and go to the global tool configurations. So here you have to install the new man. Before that, you have to do the setup for the Node.js. Okay. So you can select the automated installing, I mean, uh, install automatically option. Then you can select the particular version of Node.js that you want to install. Then you can install the libraries. So new man. So we can see in the next video about how to generate the HTML report, which is we have seen as a HTML extra library. Okay. So after this, just save them and you can go on create your job. Okay. So now, after that, if you face like it's some that the table character issue, then you can go with the hyphen hyphen disable hyphen Unicode option along with your command. Okay. So again, you can you can go on configure and you can do the edit options. Okay. So here you can you can select this uh, provide node and npm pin path folder to the path file. Then you can run this command. Okay. So this is how we'll run the our postman collections in the Jenkins. Step two, remember is, first you have to install the Node.js, which is automatic install option. Then you have to add the new man library to be installed. Then you can go and create a new job and you can configure your new man command. Then you can apply that and this uh, hyphen hyphen disable hyphen Unicode to specify, I mean, to ignore all the symbols to get the right format of the report. How do we get in the terminal? Okay. So that's all about this video. Uh, we'll see you in another video. Thank you guys.